I'm, I'm Luigi Fontana. I'm a physician scientist. I'm a professor at Washington University in St. Louis and at Brescia University in Italy. I'm splitting my time between the two countries, a few months in Italy, a few months in the U.S. We have some collaborative projects going on between the two countries. And my interest really is how we can slow the accumulation of molecular damage that is leading to diseases, chronic diseases, mainly basically cardiovascular disease, cancer, dementia, these are the major, you know, three diseases that are really worrying, you know, the world. And I think, you know, many economies, many developed economies, they're gonna basically default on this problem because we have a aging, a major aging of the population, but these people, they are not really, they're aging, but they are not healthy. So, you know, if you put together a higher number of elderly people that are unhealthy, that makes, you know, the health system broke. There is no doubt about it. It's just a matter of time. So what is really my interest, as a, again, as a physician, is how we can prevent or at least delay the accumulation of damage that is leading to multiple disease. Because as people, they get older, they don't develop only, only one disease. There is a major disease more often cardiovascular disease, but then they develop cancer, they develop sarcopenia, dementia, at the beginning, you know, mild cognitive impairment, and some people become frank dementia, some people, they end up, you know, with a stroke, and so then, you know, the people, when you have a stroke, depending how bad it is, you know, then, you know, you become basically not self-sufficient. So it's a burden, it's a burden for the family, it's a burden for the society. Now, what we know is that nutrition, is the most powerful intervention. You know, there are lots of studies in animals showing, you know, nutrition is the most powerful intervention to prevent or delay the accumulation of molecular damage. Now, what we are doing in my lab is to understand what happens in humans once, you know, you change the composition of the diet. The classical studies have been doing have been on calorie restriction, so reducing calories without malnutrition. But the dogma that only calories were important for the longevity effects of calorie restriction, it's basically failing. It's more than calories. The composition of the protein, the quantity and quality of the proteins matter. The distribution of the meals, you know, so if you do some fasting, you, you know, or if you change the distribution of the meals during the day, uh, the quality of the fibers that get digested by the, our microbiome, so the trillions of bacteria living in our gut, looks like they have a profound effect on inflammation and our predisposition to developing autoimmune diseases. And then, of course, you know, exercise, cognitive training, they are all playing some roles. I mean, the, the animal data are suggesting that exercise is not as powerful as diet in modulating longevity. It's important for the prevention of diabetes, for the prevention of sarcopenia, osteoporosis, but in terms of slowing down aging, slowing down the accumulation of molecular damage, nutrition is the number one. Why I'm asking, you know, once when we exactly know that all this suffering, all this is preventable, it's crazy, you know, why the system doesn't want to change? Why, you know, the medical schools, you know, all this, you know, the university, they, why they, they, they spend only a couple of hours, you know, in the, in the four years of medical school, probably at the most there are two, three hours of nutrition. When, you know, the data are so strong, showing that, you know, it's, powerful. I mean, it's for cardiovascular disease, unless you're born, you know, with a genetic defect where, you know, you really don't have the LDL receptor. But, you know, for the great majority of people, cardiovascular disease is completely preventable. Person who is eating a, a healthy diet, diversified healthy diet, doesn't need supplements except for one, that is vitamin D. So if you leave in California, you don't need that, you know, because you, you have just to expose yourself to the sun Probably, you know, half an hour, you know, with, with your, with, with your, with your uh, swimming suit, 
it's enough. But if you live in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in Chicago during the winter, there is no way you're going to get enough vitamin D with the sun. So there you have to take vitamin D because vitamin D is important for bone, for immune function. I believe, based on the research we have, that you, know, you can live longer if you eat a proper diet. There is no doubt about it. You know, you know, some of the people I'm, I'm studying, you know, they are in their late 70s, early 80s. They are not taking any medication, super healthy, clean arteries, never develop any disease. And so and instead of their brothers and sisters and, 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 and mother, they, they had diseases. So, I mean, that's not genetic. Like they are not genetically lucky. They just changed their diet. Yes. I mean, you can live much longer, much healthier just by changing your diet, your lifestyle. There is no doubt about it. Research is really powerful. A lot of my colleagues, they appreciate, you know, my job. But, you know, again, the system is set up that people want drugs. They want to do, you know, they want to keep eating their unhealthy food, smoke, drink, living sedentary lifestyles, and they want the magic fix. They want a drug. And because many scientists in working in my field, they are coming from this type of education. They've been raised as a kid, you know, with this type of culture. That's what they're working on. They are working on finding pharmacological targets. They think that, you know, people are not going to change their lifestyle. But I think personally that it will never work. I think, you know, if you're eating a healthy diet, exercising, then some pharmacological treatments may potentiate the effect of healthy diet exercise. But you know that a pill can substitute the effects of healthy diet exercise, stuff like that? I don't believe it. I may be wrong I mean, because, you know, we are human, so we don't know everything. But based on my knowledge, all, all my years of research, I don't believe that a drug can undo the unhealthy lifestyle that, you know, many people are... Are, are living around the world. There is no no chance. There is a chance in a million, and will be positively shocked. You know, if some somebody's going to show me that you know you take one or two drugs and then you can eat badly, you can smoke, you can be overweight, and you, you and you drink, and then you know you are you are healthy and you live 100 years. I don't believe that.